So guys, what is going on? We've just witnessed Terence Crawford retain his uh, WBO welterweight title. Guys, first, before I start the video, massive respect to Kel Brook. Uh, he took a fight against the WBO uh, pound for pound best fighter in the world. Um, and, you know, he did well. First two rounds, I had him winning the first two rounds. Third round, I gave it to Crawford. I thought Crawford was starting to uh, get into the fight. And then in the fourth round, he landed a jab. And Kel Brook, he didn't know where he was. And he went in. And as we know, Crawford's one of the best finishers in the game. Um, and he, in the end, dismantled Kel Brook. And I think the referee did the right thing stepping in. You know what? Salman, we made a video about a couple of hours ago. And a lot of you were disrespecting Salman, saying, oh, Salman's talking rubbish. Salman's talking this, this, that. He was saying Kel Brook, Crawford's going to dismantle Kel Brook. And firstly, what I want to say is that firstly, everyone's entitled to their opinion, right? Just because you rate Kel Brook and this whole Kel Brook calm thing, right? Everyone's been going on, oh, well, Kel Brook's going to be declared the better fighter because he went, he went, he's going to go more rounds than Khan. Well, he didn't. And when Khan got beat like that, I know how good Amir Khan is, firstly, before I start taking into this fight. And when Amir Khan got dismantled by Terence Crawford like that, I realized that this guy is something special. Even though Khan was past his best, I realized that this guy was something special, right? He hit Brook with a jab and Brook was all over the place. The referee, the referee shouldn't have allowed that fight to go on. Brook was going through the ropes. The referee should have waved it off there. He gave Brook an opportunity and he took more punishment. One thing I noticed early on, I think Brook was doing really well. He was sharp, quick. But his punch resistance looks completely gone. Like, Brook was a tough guy. Brook had a chin. Brook had a chin. Let's not forget, this is a guy that fought Golovkin, fought Spence. He took some big punches. Big punches. He got hit with a jab. And he, and he, and he went all over. Listen, that can happen because the jab landed flush. It was great timing. It landed flush. And, and I think I said this in a, in a previous video that a lot of you guys were saying, well, oh, he never even got knocked out against Golovkin. He never even got knocked out against Spence. How is this little Crawford going to knock him out? And I said that in boxing, it's the punches you don't see that hurt. Did Terence Crawford knock out Kel Brook? Or are we going to make up 10,000 excuses in this, about this loss as well? Oh, the referee jumped in too quick. Oh, this, that, this, that. Oh, Kel Brook's got great... Listen, Kel Brook's a good fighter. No one's saying that he's not a good fighter. I've never ever come on in a video and said he's not a good fighter. But I'm just saying he's not an elite fighter. And this fight, is, this fight shows it. He's not, he's not what you guys made him out to be. He didn't fight the top guys in his prime. He fought one name in Sean Porter and, and managed to win a decision. And that's it. You know, respect. You've got to respect him for that. That's a great career. He managed to win a world championship. But it's when people make him out like he's got these skills or he's got those skills or he's got those skills. You know, he's this. Kell Brook's like a front runner. He does well early on in fights. And then later on, the, be the better fighter, the guy that's more talented, better. You know, so you were saying that Kell Brook's more talented than Crawford. Some of you were saying, you know, Kell Brook, Crawford's small, he's chinny, he's this, he's that. You know, and I, I also predicted that I thought Kel Brook might pull off the upset. But I, I also said that I think Crawford's a better fighter. I just think that there's an upset in the air. You know, and I was wrong. I was wrong. And massive respect to Terence Crawford. What a fire that guy is, man. That guy is on another level. You know, and um, that he battered, really took Brook apart in that fourth round. Just hit him with a jab. Brook was all over the place. And Brook, he didn't, he didn't know where he was. You know, and I don't even think the referee should have let that sec. I think the referee should have waved it off when Brook was going through the ropes because Brook was all over the place. Right. And that's how fighters get hurt. And also, I don't know, guys, if you guys noticed this during the fight, Brook's eyes were already puffing up. They were already puffing up. And he, Crawford was in the first two rounds. Crawford was struggling a little bit. You know, he was struggling. And I thought when I saw the first two rounds, I thought, Kel, yeah, he looks good, man. He's, he might do some he might do some damage here. But I was wrong. I was wrong. Uh, you know, Crawford just landed a beautiful shot and Brook was out of there. You know, at least one thing I will say is that I don't think it wasn't a damaging defeat where Kel didn't take a lot of punishment in the fight. You know, it was just like he got caught with a punch and he just lost his senses. And I did say that, that Crawford is the quickest guy 
Kel Brook has gone in the ring with. He's the quickest guy. This isn't Spence. This isn't a flat-footed Golovkin or Spence or Porter, wild puncher, Mauler. This is a this is an elite level guy that embarrasses you, that beats you up. This is a, a different class fighter. He he. This is a different level of fighter. And give Crawford his respect now. Give Crawford his respect. Everybody, all of you were saying, Brook for the win, Brook for the win, Brook for the win. Well, guess what? He dismantled him in four rounds. It was like it was like a tune up. It wasn't even a fight. You know, are you going to argue with me? It wasn't even a fight. It wasn't even a fight. It was a four-round fight. It wasn't even a fight for Crawford. And Crawford didn't even look like he broke sweat. The first meaningful shot Crawford landed flush, the fight was over. And, and a lot of you were saying, well, Kell Brook, Khan would have lasted 12 rounds with, with, with Crawford. How is he going to knock out Kell Brook? Khan wouldn't have lasted 12 rounds. He wouldn't have lasted 12 rounds. He would have got knocked out in another couple of rounds if the fight didn't end the way it did. And Brook got hit with, got hit with a good jab. He was a beautiful time shot. And he was out of there. Like I said, that shot basically knocked him out. That, he was gone. He was out on his feet. The referee should have jumped in there and then. The fight was essentially over as soon as that punch landed. Fight was over as soon as that punch is like, Listen, Kell Brook's done well. He's managed to beat Sean Porter. He's managed to become a world champion. He can't, he can't compete at this level anymore. I'm just being honest. I, I don't think he can compete at this level. He can't beat Danny Garcia. He can't beat Keith Thurman. His punch resistance is gone. You know, he's old. It's not, it's, you see, people don't realise. It's all right, you're training hard and you're saying, yes, I'm... You see, Crawford lives his whole life like that. The way Kell Brook's been living for the last five months, Crawford lives his whole life like that. You're not going to be a pound-for-pound pound guy. I saw against Mark DeLuca. I saw against Rabchenko. I saw against Zarafa. Kell Brook looked, didn't look great in that fight. And don't get me wrong, the first two rounds, Kell Brook started really sharp. But what are we going to keep saying? I actually had Kell Brook winning the first two rounds. But, but the problem is, what are we going to say? He won the first half of the fight against Spence and then Spence took over? Like, you've got to win, you know? You can't just win a couple of rounds and then get blown out, you know? That's not, that's front-runner stuff. You know, all, all you guys in my comment section that were hating on Crawford, keep the same energy now. Keep the same energy. The ones that you were saying, Brooks going to knock him out, Brooks got power, Brooks got this. Keep the same energy now. Look what Crawford just did to him. Give the man his props. He doesn't get his props, Crawford. He's a great fighter, exceptional fighter. I've been one in the past to criticize Terence Crawford, but I realize how good this guy is. I realize, you know, that was Bro that was kept Crawford's easiest fight. You were saying that this is going to be his hardest fight. This was his easiest fight. He 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 took him out and when he took him out when he landed his first meaningful shot. As soon as he landed his first meaningful shot, the fight was finished. You know, Jeff Horn went longer than that. Khan went longer than that. Kavalauskas did better than that. You know, and it's sad in a way. It's sad in a way because... To f I don't know whether Kel Brook's going to fight again. I don't know. I hope he... I, I don't even think he should, if I'm totally honest with you. On that performance, after being hurt like that, with a... With a nothing. I don't. I don't know. It's just like he got caught with a jab, and he got and he got uh, wobbled. Like Kell Brook, has, I'd say it again, Kell Brook's got really good punch resistance. Kell Brook can take a punch. But again, I keep saying to you, when you're past your best, when you're when you're not the same fighter, you're, I told you that I told I did say this. A lot of you were talking how great Kell Brook's punch resistance is and how great. And I told you, your punch resistance goes. When you become old and washed up, your punch resistance goes. You imagine, right, if Danny Garcia fought Kell Brook and he, he landed a huge... Because Kell Brook ain't knocking Garcia out. We, Garcia's got the best chin in the game. Imagine if he landed a, a left hook or something on Kell Brook. The way that fight ended. And that, like, that was a jab. That was a jab. That hurt um, Kell Brook. 
you know, and and everybody was saying, well, Kelbrook's going to be massive, his physical strength, but as Andre Ward said, that just because you're the physically bigger man doesn't mean doesn't mean you're going to be the stronger man, doesn't mean you're going to be the more powerful guy. The muscles don't mean anything in boxing. Muscles don't mean anything. You know, it. listen, man, you've got to give the guy credit. You know, he went in there with one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, but I think, obviously, his career at that kind of level is, is done. Um, in terms of Kel Brook, um, I think he should be looking maybe uh, Liam Smith, you know, I'm not going to even talk about Amir Khan. That fight, not happening. I don't see it happening, especially now that Kel Brook got beat like that. I don't think Amir Khan's going to want to entertain it, even though I, I still like to see it. And at 147 on that performance, I think if Khan lands a couple of shots, I think Brook could go on that fight. But equally, I think if Brook lands a couple of shots, Khan could go. Brook hasn't got punch resistance anymore. They're both as vulnerable as each other. Um, and a lot of you used to say, well, Kel Brook... You know, um, if he lands a couple of, you know, punches on Khan, well, I, I'll say the same. Khan's very fast, still got fast hands. If he lands a couple of punches on Brook, it's over as well. You know, because Brook showed tonight his punch resistance finished. And actually, for me, Khan will land before Brook lands in that fight because Khan's the quicker man. So if I'm totally honest with you, it could happen. But again, I, I think to me on that performance, that's a 50-50 fight. I think whoever lands first, because I think... Whoever lands the first meaningful shot, I think the fight could be there. There's, because I, do, I think both of them are, are not the same. Um, I will say this, that Amir Khan against Terence Crawford showed a lot more toughness uh, up, until the, up until he actually, he basically, you know, didn't fight on. Um, he showed a lot of toughness. He took a lot of beating in there. Kel Brook got hit with one meaningful shot and the fight was finished. So uh, I, don't know what, I don't know what to make. Khan took a lot of punishment from Terence Crawford. He took a lot of punishment, you know, he, he, got, he got beat, basically got beat up against Terence Crawford and he took a lot of shots um, in there. He got dropped in the first round, got back up and he, and he took a lot of punishment, whereas Kel Brook didn't take a lot of punishment. Kel Brook was very difficult early on and I actually thought after the first two rounds, I thought, you know what, my prediction, Salman's prediction is looking very poor right now and my prediction, you know, but... You know, like I said, it's a bit like Andre Ward said, front runner stuff. You know, he does well early on and then, you know, it's just disappointing because you stay up and you want to watch a great fight. And I felt exactly the same way when Khan fought him. And people go, why do I talk about Khan? Because it was, it was just, oh man, it was just like, it's like a kick in the, you know, you're excited about something, you're hyped about something and then it just ends in a dud like that. You know, but it's boxing, like Kel Brook said at the end when he interviewed, it was boxing, it can happen. You know, he got caught with a good blush thing, but I, I just don't, I've never seen Kel Brook hurt like that. I've never seen Kel Brook wobbled like that, where he just, and it, and it wasn't even like, you know, I've seen him take big shots from Golovkin, but again, it comes down to the fact that Crawford's speed, man, his speed, he's so fast. I told you guys before that this guy's got such fast hands, his timing, everything is brilliant. You know, and I will say this, this isn't Crawford's tough. If this is Crawford's toughest test at 147, then we're in some terrible fights because that wasn't, that wasn't a fight as far as I'm concerned. That was a, a sparring session uh, for the first two rounds. You know, the guy was doing okay. Crawford was figuring him out. As soon as he figures him out, lands a one punch and that's it. You know, and yeah. I just disappointed with that. I disappointed. And, and it probably, listen, man, maybe five, six years ago, Kel Brook would have put up a better performance than what he put up tonight. Definitely. Because like I said, just because you look great and you're in great physical condition don't mean that you're going to come out there and, and win. Doesn't mean you're going to come out there and beat the best pound for pound fighter in the world. You know, Kel Brook's been training very hard for the last six months. Fair play to the guy. Fair play to the guy. He's been working very hard for the last five, six months. He dedicated his life to this particular fight. Or dedicated the last five, six months to this particular fight. The problem is, you know, dedicating yourself to, for five, six months for a fight against the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world when you've been very inactive last couple of years, you struggle to make one four seven. It was only down the stretch. Even if that punch didn't land, down the stretch, Kel Brook would have got stopped. Yeah, he would have got stopped eventually. He would have got stopped, you know, because he would have got tired. He would have got tired. 
And Crawford was probably waiting for that. Crawford, And actually, I think Crawford surprised himself because I don't think he thought he'd knock Kell Brook out in four rounds. I, thought, I, think, I think their coach probably thought it'd go seven, eight, nine. But as soon as he landed one meaningful punch, Brook's punch resistance, as I said, I think is completely gone. Completely gone. And like I said, all the, this isn't like video to the, all the Brook fans saying I told you so. But I did say that the punch resistance is the first thing to go in a fighter. And, Kel Brook, and that's a sign of a fighter that's past his best. Because Kel Brook, five years ago, would he have got knocked out to that? I don't think he would. I don't think he would. But again, he didn't see the punch. So he didn't see it. It was so fast that I just think it just, he was just out of there. He was just, he was just out of there, man. You know, and you've got to say, Terence Crawford didn't. It wasn't like it was a massive right hand. Just a good jab. And he just literally had him out of there, you know. And you feel for Brooke as well. I feel for Brooke. You know, he's, he's, he's had a great career. Um, but at the same time, you know, he's, he was in there against a special talent, you know. And there's no shame losing to Terence Crawford. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Brooke probably is gutted because he probably thought he'd put in a much better performance than that. But a lot of people... A lot of people were upset when Carl Froch said it's a cash out fight. Johnny Nelson was included into it that you didn't have Dominic Ingle in the corner. All of these things now, when you look back at it, you think to yourself, they were probably right. They were probably right because I was, to be honest, I wasn't expecting the fight to be that easy. For Terence Crawford in the sense that whenever he lands the first meaningful punch that Brooke will just get hurt and get stunned like that. I didn't expect that. Um, and I expected Brooke to be a lot more tougher than what I saw tonight. But that again is down to age. It's down to the couple of wars he had. Uh, lifestyle that you've lived in the past. And just disappointing really. Disappointing because you know what with Kel Brooke. He has been a guy that's underachieved really. Um, and he, he'll be remembered more for his losses than his victories, you know? Um, and yeah, I don't, I'm not the one of the ones that come out and just start smash slating him because at the end of the day, the guy's getting in there and he's had a good career. He's become a world champion. You know, that's that in itself. How many fighters can say we become world champions? You've got to give Kel Brook credit. He became a world champion. You know, there's not many fighters that can say that, that we become world champions. So that in itself, you've got to give Kelbrook massive credit um, and fair play to him. He's had a good, um, a good career um, and he's done well. Uh, hopefully he can maybe get one or two more paydays if he wants to continue fighting and then sail off into the sunset. Um, I don't think, I, 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 I don't think he should, you know, box on too long, if I'm totally honest with you, on based on that performance, because I think if he was to fight Liam Smith, I think that's a dangerous fight, if I'm totally honest with you. Um, I think if he fights at 147 against anybody, it's dangerous, because uh, I don't think he should be fighting at 147. I, you know, on that performance, he looks like he's, he's too old and... and I just don't think he can... I think the weight killed him, drained him. You know, he didn't look great yesterday. Uh, when he was talking um, in the post fight, you know, after post weighing, uh, he, he looked very drained. You fight at one five four, fight Liam Smith, and just then maybe call it a day. If you win the fight, then maybe fight for a world title. Um, but you know, against pound for pound guys or those guys, he, uh, nah, he, he can't fight at that level anymore. And that's just being truthful. I don't mean he can fight at that level anymore. You know. Um, Terence Crawford's on another level. He's he's one of the best fighters in the world, and really that was a that was a great performance. And now let's talk about Terence because Crawford is a guy that we everyone's been disrespecting. Every everyone wanted him to lose. How many people wanted Terence Crawford to lose? How many people? Yeah, he came out there, did his thing, made it look easy. You know, made it look easy. Kell Brook's a former world champion. Made it look comfortable. Made it look simple. But that's what great fighters do. That's what great fighters do. They come and make it look simple. And I believe Terence Crawford deserves his credit. Terence Crawford deserves his respect now. We hear too many excuses. We hear too many, too much rubbish about Terence Crawford. Give him his props. He is a great talent. He's a great fighter. Terence Crawford is an elite level fighter. 
And believe you me, he fights any of those other welterweights, right? I'm making him the favorite. I'm making him the favorite. He's an elite level welterweight. Elite level welterweight. An elite level fighter. I don't want to hear that nonsense that he's not fought anybody. He's an elite fighter. And I don't believe, I don't believe anybody, I, 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 on that performance, I, I'm, I'm not, not going to say Errol Spence is going to fall over like that, but um, I, I, I think Errol, Terence Crawford has got so many skills and he's got so, much to, so many tools in his arsenal. He can beat you so many ways. There's, there's so many ways you can skin a cat. You know, and Terence Crawford's one of them that he can skin a cat so many different ways. He's a brilliant fighter, man. He's a brilliant fighter. Um, to be honest, I've given Crawford a lot of stick in the past. Um, not anymore. Moving forward, not anymore. For me, he's uh, he's one of the best. He's one of the best. And massive respect to Terence Crawford. Because that, that was an incredible performance. And now I want to see... Now, listen, I want to see Terence Crawford fight Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman... Um, Errol Spence, Manny Pacquiao. We, we can't listen. We can't, you know, Bro Kavalowskis, Khan, Horn. You know, we need Manny Pacquiao. We need Danny Garcia. We need Keith Thurman. We need guys like that. And to be honest, if Danny Garcia gets beat well against, I don't even want Garcia. I want Thurman, Pacquiao, Spence next. Just make it happen, man. Give the boxing fans what we want to see. We don't want to see Kel Brook with Terence Crawford. We want to see him in there with proper, proper competition that's going to give him a test. That's going to give him a test. This wasn't a test tonight. You know, we need to see him tested. We need to see him in there with the top, top guys. Because otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to see fights like this. You know, because you're putting him in there with washed up guys or putting him in there with the guys that are lower level this... We need to see him in there with top men. We need to see him in there with, with great fighters. You know, otherwise Terence Crawford is going to be a talent that's just going to be wasted. And we're going to think, oh man, this guy was an exceptional fighter. But you know what? He didn't fight the best guys in, in, his, in his era. And the worst thing is, it's not him. He wants to fight those guys. He wants to fight all those men. And that's why I sympathize with Crawford. He wants to fight all those guys. He wants to fight all those guys, man. You people need to stop hating on Crawford. You know, because all you want to do is just want to see him lose so you can piggy bank on your fighters. Give the guy the props and start putting pressure on your fighters to fight him. Spence fans, start putting pressure on Spence to fight him. How many Spence fans were saying that Kelbrook was going to beat Crawford? How many of you? Put pressure on Spence now. Fight him. You know, this guy's dying for a fight with the top boys. He's dying for a fight. He wants to fight the top guys. No one wants to fight him. He's dangerous. He's a great talent, great fighter. No one wants to get in with him. You know, and it's, it's really bad. Like I was speaking to my dad about it earlier, saying that nobody wants to fight him. What, what, what's going on? You know, we're just seeing these guys in there with lower level kids, you know, and he's just beating up on them. And I just, I don't know, it's just a boxing, it disappoints, you know, UFC, they get the be biggest and best fights on. We seem to, we never seem to get them on. Why? Why don't we get the fights we want to see? You know, Keith Thurman asking for 10 million. Why are you asking for 10 million? Be realistic, man. You know, Kel Brook, former world champion, took the fight for $2 million. He's being realistic. Being realistic, you know, asking for 10 million. What are you asking for 10 million for? You know, you're in a pandemic. You know, people just, they're just not realistic. You know, it's, yeah, it's just boxing sometimes distaste, distasteful because we want to see Crawford in there with everybody. I want to see Crawford. You guys want to see Crawford in there. You know, why is, why are we not getting it? Why are we not getting these big fights? Why are we not getting Crawford in there with the best? Surely, as boxing fans, we need to put pressure on Spence and God, uh, you know, 
Thurman and all those guys, Pacquiao, you know, to get, get listen, Pacquiao's 41, so I'm no, no pressure on Pacquiao. Pacquiao don't need to do anything. But Spence and, and Thurman, they need to get in the ring with Crawford. You know, Pacquiao's 41. Let the man do what he wants. You know, he's an old man. You know, and he's paid his dues. He's given us great entertainment over the years. But Crawford, Spence, all these guys need to start locking horns, man. They need to start locking horns. You know, because otherwise we're just going to have an era where we don't get to see the best fight the best. You know, and it's, we're going to miss it. We're going to miss it. That's why Terence Crawford, start giving him his props. You know, and I feel like there's too many, too much hate on the guy. The amount of you that wanted to see Kelbrook win tonight was embarrassing. And some of you weren't even Brits. Some of you were Manny Pacquiao fans, Errol Spence fans. But you just wanted to see Kel, you just wanted to see Terence Crawford lose. So then you can say, oh, look, he was exposed, this, that. But at the end of the day, he ended up beating Kel Brook better than any the better than anyone could. Crawford's an Crawford's an elite talent. He's an elite fighter, an elite talent. You know, I actually think God knows let him fight Spences and let him fight those guys, a three weight world champion, but he's getting better for me. He's getting better. He's beating up bigger men and beating the crap out of them. And beating them easy. Beating him easy. Like Kell Brook said, I've never been beat up like that before. Or oh, you never really got beat up. He said, he said, that's never happened to me before. Because you haven't fought a fighter like Crawford before. That's why. You know, all this stuff about you coming out of the Ingle Gym. And you know how the Ingle Gym. Yeah, how many fighters come out of the Ingle Gym that are as good as Terence Crawford? They might be able to do switch hit and... And switch, they might be able to switch hit. But they can't do it as good as Terence Crawford. That's why he's the best fighter in the world. You know, everyone was saying, you, I rate Crawford too highly. I do this. No, no, Crawford is special. It's not about rating him highly. He is special. You know, and I just feel like, give him his credit. Give Crawford his credit. Give him his respect because he deserves it. You know, um, he's a great talent, great fighter. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's still going to be critics. There's still going to be haters. There's still going to be pe people... Um, Talking rubbish about um, Terence Crawford. That just comes a part and parcel with it. But for me, he's an elite fighter. For me, you know, he's he's different gravy, this guy. He's different gravy, this guy. And it's about time we start giving Terence Crawford his props. Or a lot. How many people thought tonight that Kell Brook was going to cause the upset? How many people thought tonight that Kell Brook was going to go the distance? Kell Brook's going to do this, do that. And he, and he just washed him. You know, so it's about time that Terence Crawford gets his respect, gets his credit. Um, and we start putting pressure to make these big fights because, you know, Crawford's 33. He's not getting any younger. I don't want to see Crawford get in the ring with Spence when he's 37, 38 years of age. I want to see him get in the ring with, with Terence Crawford when he's, when he's now, when he's in his prime, when he's fresh, when he's strong, when he looks amazing. You know, and I, I, I think... We need to make that happen. Hopefully, Bob Aaron can make it happen. We're hearing rumors that Crawford's going to leave Bob Aaron. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Um, you know, hopefully they can make the big fights. Um, and like, again, again, massive respect to Kell Brook. You know, he put it on the line. It was always going to be tough for against Terence Crawford. Um, but, you know, he did his best. He did his best. You can only respect Kell Brook for that. He did his best. You know, he did his best. You can't do better than your best. You just came up against a better man. You came up against a guy that was unbelievable. So, you know, it is one of those things. So, you know, you've got to give Kelbrook respect. And the mo the thing why I give Kelbrook respect is because Kelbrook stood stood up. He didn't ask for stupid money. He believed that he could go and beat Crawford. He didn't ask for £10 million. He, had, he took $2 million because he, he thought, you know what? I'm going to be reasonable. I want to fight this guy. I want to beat the best. You know, but give him his props now. Give Terence Crawford his props. Um, and, you know, let's see what happens with Kell Brook. You know, Kell Brook is obviously still a big name here in the UK. Um, he's still relevant. You know, let's see what happens with him. Um, let's see what happens. But to be honest with you, I, I don't know what I don't know what's next for Kell Brook. Let's see what he decides to do. Um, leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. I'll do some more follow up videos. But. Yeah, just a little bit frustrated that, you know, someone like Terence Crawford, an elite talent like that, is not getting 
uh, the credit as a fighter. No one really appreciates him. All I, all I see is a load of hate comments, you know, and this guy's a special talent. You know, it's not his fault that other guys don't want to fight him, you know, and I just feel like it's just unfair. So hopefully Crawford gets the big fights. Hopefully Crawford gets the marquee names. Um, and, you know, let's see what happens. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. It's a bit of a long rant, but leave your thoughts, guys, in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And, guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.